In our quadratic functions course, we must learn how to graph a parabola. The next step is how to find the roots, the x-intercepts, also known as the zeros. In example one, we have two zeros, and we are going to use the quadratic formula to find them. To find the x-intercepts of our parabola, we're using the formula negative b plus or minus the square root of delta over 2a. This is our quadratic formula. Our b is negative 3, so negative of b is negative of negative 3. Our delta was 17, so we put 17 inside the radical. And our a is 2, so the bottom is 2 times 2. The negative of negative 3 is positive 3. 2 times 2 is 4. And the square root of 17 is 4.12. At this point, we have split our formula in two. The plus or minus makes us solve it if we have a plus and solve it if we have a minus. With the plus, 3 plus 4.12 divided by 4 is 1.78. With the minus, 3 minus 4.12 divided by 4 is negative 0 0.28. These are our x-intercepts and we will put them in the table right here. 1.78 negative 0 0.280. Zero. And let's graph these. 1.780 is about here. And negative 0 0.280 is about here. We have shown the zeros of our parabola. All that's left is for us to draw our parabola. Make sure that you draw this neatly with an actual curve and not a straight line because the drawing will be worth marks on your exam. This is what example one looks like after we have found our two zeros. In example two, there are two zeros and we are going to use the quadratic formula to find them.